The Life Science Meets IT Hackathon is about finding technical solutions for medical problems. Um, to achieve that, we have gathered a group of highly talented people from technical perspectives, so IT people, coders, hackers, as well as people with scientific backgrounds, uh, like uh, doctors and uh, scientists, uh, but also business people and designers, because at the end, it is about bringing new solutions to problems to the market as fast as possible. Heidelberg is the perfect place to start because uh, we have a long tradition of excellent research institutes here, but we also have um, a big um, group of companies around Heidelberg, like SAP for example, um, which are also interested in bringing IT solutions to medical issues. We have strong activities in IT related research, like the Interdisciplinary Center for uh, Scientific Computing. So there is a vibrant atmosphere here in Heidelberg where you could actually see how IT could meet life science or vice versa. The spirit of such events like hackathons here is exactly what EIT House is aiming at. You know, it's about enthusiasm for health disruptions, talent-driven ideation and fast-track implementations of innovations. For the Life Science Meets IT Hackathon, we have asked um, different entities, corporations, academia, but also individuals participating to bring challenges, to bring real problems from the um, medical, from the scientific world. They had a chance to pitch their ideas in a very short pitch on Friday evening and form a team. Some of you already had surgery. How can we actually use the data best? It's about changing the lives of patients in society. Once you get to the parking lot, and what's that? This helps them to achieve the low production cost, but it has all the benefit of personalized products. With this team, they worked for the whole weekend on solutions, on prototypes, on business cases. Uh, they have been supported by mentors um, of different expertise. To put it in a nutshell, technology and digitalization is the most important factor for innovation in all industries. But healthcare is something that's really important for us and therefore I think technology and digitalization and the combination of such events where all the people are creating this new ideas, new creative solutions, this is what we really need. We're also creating solutions that build on big data and uh, to understand how to use the big data in the near future and the long-term future. We need to closely collaborate with these IT experts. The young people are very affine to these topics and they grow up with all their smartphones, with this new technology, are early adopters and that makes it easy to think about really new creative um, use cases. We have young people, students who are basically just left school and then we have people who have worked for years in companies and bring those two together make the best solutions. Innovation is really coming from startups and everything is growing quicker in the startup scene because they are not uh, as much uh, incorporated in, in big organizations. The corporate industry and the uh, digital um, health industry will take profit from this uh, smarter and agile innovation. The state government of Baden-Württemberg is committed to taking advantage of the opportunities digit digitization presents. We need to be prepared for the future. The future holds great things, great achievements, great changes. But then again, we need to think future from today. We need to break open old structures, rusty, crusty structures, and understand, do we really need them? Do they serve a purpose other than just political self-sustainment? And if not, then we need to get rid of them and need to open for innovation for the future. 
And I really like the um, international and interdisciplinary atmosphere that you can find in the hackathons. There are people with so many backgrounds. I like to learn new stuff, new, to get to know new people and yeah just see what is going on out there i'm uh, i'm in science so i don't know much about the industry what's going on there so i think that's great to meet people from the industry when we started planning for the life science meter t hackathon about a year ago people mostly said it couldn't be done you know finding solutions to life science challenges within 54 hours with prototypes etc it's just not enough time what we've seen now is it works we have seen 13 excellent challenges and uh, three winners with really great prototypes, really great business cases, best hacks, and we are really, really, really excited about the results of this event and we are really happy about how it turned out.